One of the key benefits of our process is the ability to coat things that you could otherwise not coat before. So for instance, um, rubbers and plastics and organic parts that you would like to produce a coating on. Traditionally, very difficult to coat either with conventional vapor deposition, which uses high temperatures, high powers, or with your traditional polymer coating approach, which uses high curing temperatures. And so what we've been able to do is open up a whole universe of things that you would otherwise struggle to coat with a polymer coating. Things like textiles, paper, um, uh, rubbers, particularly you, rubbers used in seals and gaskets and, and uh, items like that. Um, very uh, uh, sensors that would otherwise, uh, the function would be diminished by exposure. We have uh, our, our principal pr product and the first product that uh, we developed and have profitably commercialized is uh, basically a fluoropolymer coating. Um, the official name is polytetrafluoroethylene or PTFE but it's very widely known by its DuPont trademark of Teflon. So this is a product that we've spent uh, um, now a decade and a half developing and has commercial applications and uh, we, do, so we, we, we run a service business where we provide coatings in certain applications. Um, and and that, that has really gotten us up as a company that's generated a nice commercial base for the company. Most importantly, that's demonstrated the commercial value and the commercial applicability. Some of the things that we're working on right now are additional coating functionally, functionalities that really go significantly beyond the basic uh, product. Uh, one example is a, um, a coating that's able to, we believe, um, solve a long-standing problem in downhill uh, drilling and oil and gas exploration, which is that seals that are used in those um, types of applications, when they go down the, to the distances and the temperatures and the pressures uh, that are customary, um, you, get a, you get a breakdown of the seal due to the infusion of gases. Um, and the same problem, by the way, in, in uh, plagues of the issue of fuel cells, where hydrogen distribution stations, um, it's very challenging to keep a seal for the long term. They tend to break down and nobody wants hydrogen spilling out everywhere uh, all over the United States. So we have developed a coating that has some barrier capability and the idea is to use this on seals and gaskets. By necessity it needs to be flexible so a polymer is the, the right type of application um, uh, space and, uh, and the idea is to coat the seals and gaskets and, put, um, and, and prevent that kind of uh, infusion of gases. We have another um, very uh, interesting area of exploration that we've been looking at for years which is in conducting polymer coatings. So these are polymer coatings that intrinsically conduct electricity. So they're not filled with anything but they conduct electricity. And there's a tremendous number of applications for these types of coatings. You've got all the way from um, solar cells uh, through to sensing a variety of different sensing capabilities. You have the ability to produce um, uh, dynamic heating uh, by putting current through the, the, the materials. And so I think that's a space where we've only just scratched the surface of the, the opportunity and the applications. Um, and that's, uh, that's a very interesting area that runs in many ways contrary to the types of coatings that we've developed before. So it gives us a nice diversity of, uh, of function and performance.